Now the first measurement we're doing is for the neck. Now this measurement is simply the tape is placed at the position where you would wear your collar or do your collar up. It's easier to take this measurement from the side rather than the front because the chin gets in the way. Now the tip with this is that the um, you hold the tape with two fingers inside. Now if these two fingers are in full contact with the neck then the measurement is too tight. Um, they need to be basically in partial contact. All right, now the, the second measurement is the chest. Now what we're doing here is we're measuring around the largest part of the chest. Normally just to make sure I've got it in the correct position, I make sure it's positioned underneath the armpits, pull it forwards and backwards um, a couple of times. We're taking it at the front, it's being taken across the nipples. At the back, you'll probably need more often than not to lift the tape up because we're also measuring the largest part of the back here as well. Uh, measurement needs to be reasonably tight, not very tight, not very loose, just comfortable. Now the third measurement we're taking is the measurement for the stomach. Now this one is taken around the largest part of the stomach. Now with each person this is going to be slightly different. Um, what I normally do is consult with the customer, find out exactly what the, or where the largest part of the stomach is. This is quite often around the love handles part, but not always. Again, we've got the first two fingers inside the tape. Um, similar to the chest measurement, it doesn't need to be tight, but uh, depending on how the customer likes the fit of the shirt, whether they like it loose, fitted, just comfortable, you need to be very careful not to make this measurement too loose. Now, following that, we then move down slightly to the waist. Now, with the waist measurement, um, you need the, the, the tip is that um, the customer needs to be wearing a pair of trousers similar to that that, uh, that the measurement is being taken for. So in other words, uh, you know, business trousers with a belt on worn at the level that it's normally worn at. Worn at. Again, two fingers inside the tape. Um, This waist measurement simply um, needs, the tape needs to be posi positioned as close to the top of the belt as possible. Um, we try not to have it overlapping onto the belt, but as you can see from the video, it's not always possible. You just try and get it as close as you can so that the, the measurement is representative of the height, or the, 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 you know, the exact height that the customer wears their trousers. Now we move slightly down to the, the um, hips measurement. Um, or the seat measurement is another word for it. And this one is quite simply measured around the hips at the wide, widest point of the seat. This is a measurement that needs to be snug. Um, quite often, you know, just by looking side on, you'll tell where the widest part of the seat is, the, the pointiest part of the bottom. Um, the measurement needs to be horizontal and straight. Um, we can then take into account the, um, you know, the preference of the customer, um, whether they want a loose fit or a um, or a fitted fit. Not a particularly difficult measurement to take. The next measurement is the upper hips measurement. Um, I normally take this after the hips measurement because it's just a little bit easier to work out where it needs to be in between the hips and the waist measurements, roughly midway. Um, it's quite a simple measurement to take. You just pass the, the, the tape around and place it in between that of the waist and the hips measurements try and keep it horizontal. It's very easy for the tape to get out of the horizontal, um, but it needs to be horizontal and it needs to be a fairly snug measurement. It's not difficult to take and the reason we take it is um, it's for the fit, the fit of the trousers, the fit of the shirt, the fit of the jacket, uh, it gives the shape um, and quite a handy measurement to have and very simple to take. We move back up now to the full shoulder or the yoke measurement. Now this measurement is taken from just below the point of the shoulder. You get a feel for this. It be more difficult on some people to find than others. So it's taken from just below the point of one shoulder. I normally take it left to right, as I'm right-handed. You pass it just below the um, collar. So the middle of the tape's got to rest just under the collar. And the end of the measurement is uh, from a point just below the point of the other shoulder. 
Now, it's a crucial measurement. If you get it wrong, it's going to affect the general fit of the shirt and the, the length of the sleeve. Now, moving on from the full shoulder measurement, uh, the next logical measurement to take is the sleeve. Now, the start of this measurement is the end of the full shoulder measurement. So you start it from just below the point of the shoulder. You take it in two parts. You take it down to the elbow. You stop and then you then you take it to a point midway between the wrist and the knuckle. The end of the sleeve, of course, is the wrist. Um, this is a measurement that's taken fairly loosely. Um, I always ask the customer whether they wear a watch, and if they do wear a watch, I have them wear the watch, and I take the measurement around the watch. If they don't wear a watch, such as in this video, um, and they're right-handed, as this customer is, um, we take it around the right wrist. It's a loose measurement, two fingers held inside the tape.